Today in franchise football, the Detroit Lions are ready for a battle on the gridiron. Welcome back to the Atlanta Falcons franchise, everybody. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat. Today we get to see the return of Colin Kaepernick to football action. Detroit didn't have confidence in Jared Goff to lead the Lions to a winning season, <laughs> much less a postseason appearance. Well, things haven't really gone any better for the move to Kaepernick. The Lions are at 5-9 and nine on the season and occupy the number 28th ranked offense in the league. What's worse is that the Lion defense is ranked number 30. So if the Falcons play to their potential, they should be able to come away with a win. This will be a grudge match for Grady Jarrett. Remember, he was part of that big week eight trade extravaganza that the Falcons put on. And I'm sure that he would love to have a great performance in today's contest. Can he get it done or will the Falcons rack up another win on the season? Let's find out as we take you to the action here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Khalif Raymond is back deep and Young Way Koo gets us underway here in Atlanta. The ball goes deep into the end zone and Raymond takes a knee and it comes out to the 25. Kaepernick under center takes a snap. Running around in the backfield, can't find anybody. Runs and finally gets sacked for a two-yard loss by <laughs> Dante Fowler Jr. Is he on tap for another five-sack outing this week? Back is Kaepernick and throws complete to Josh Reynolds. But not after Kendall Sheffield got a hand in there, thought he knocked it away, and it is a first down. After false start, Kaepernick throws, and it's complete and out of bounds again to Reynolds. Second and one. The handoff goes to Jamal Williams, and he gets the first down to the 45 yard line of the Falcons. Kaepernick with a play action pass, bootleg and he can't find anybody open. Finally gets dumped by John Kaminsky. A big loss on the play and now on third and 20 out of the shotgun. The pass is complete down to the 26 yard line. Caught by Quintez Cephas for a 28-yard gain and a first down. Detroit with a stack to the left side. The handoff goes to DeAndre Swift, and he gets four yards up the middle. Now with T.J. Hawkinson in motion, the give is to Williams, and he gets a few up the middle, and now it's third and one. Kaepernick with a play action pass and it's broken up by Eric Harris. Fourth and one and they're going for it. Kaepernick throws and it's incomplete intended for Josh Reynolds. So after a red zone trip on their first drive, the Falcons now from their own 19. Calvin Ridley takes a jet sweep up the middle and gets out to the 24 for a five-yard gain. Where Darrell Patterson gets caught in the backfield. Charles Harris takes him down for a five-yard loss, and that makes it third and 10. Flacco in the sh shotgun, throws, and completes it. Out to Pitts, and he's past the 35 for a first down. Nice 17-yard pickup. Now out of the shotgun again. Flacco throws, and it's a shorter pickup to the sideline of four yards to Gage. Now the handoff to Patterson. First down, and lots of yardage into Lion territory. Finally taken down at the 44-yard line. Now 
Onto the shotgun again. The handoff goes to Bryce Love up the middle. He takes it to the 36. Now Gage in motion and the handoff goes up the middle again. Love powers his way for the first down. Tackled at the 33. Patterson with the carry, takes it inside the 30 yard line down to the 26. Second and four. Patterson again with a big run and a touchdown. Cordero Patterson. I can't remember the last time that Atlanta had a rushing touchdown from outside the 10 yard line, but Patterson took it 26 yards to the house. Now Kaepernick out of the shotgun at the 24 yard line, second and eight. That one is complete over the middle to Hawkinson for a first down out to the 39. Receivers in tight for this one. And a play action pass and Kaepernick is dumped again. Taken down by Dante Fowler for a second sack of the afternoon. That brings us to the end of the first quarter with the Falcons leading seven to nothing. So now from the 30 yard line, second and 19 and backpedaling, Kaepernick goes down yet again. Tyler Davison getting him back at the 16 yard line. So now third and 33, a short pass is completed to Reynolds but Sheffield makes sure he doesn't get anywhere close to the first down. The punt on its way. Braxton Berrios takes it at the 26 and goes left. Lots of room into line territory tackled at the 43. And now after a Falcon three and out, the Lions are backed up inside of their 10 from the eight yard line. Play action pass complete and all the way out to the 25 is rookie receiver Amon Ra St. Brown. Not a shotgun. Swift gets the call up the middle and he gets out to the 33. Third and three. Kaepernick back to pass, throws, and it's incomplete intended for TJ Hawkinson. I thought he had the completion, but it was bobbled. And after another Falcon, three and out from the 19 yard line, the ball given to Swift and he takes it out to the 25 for a six yard gain. The handoff goes to Swift again, takes it for the first down out to the 30. Now on second and 10 out of the shotgun. Kaepernick back to pass, throws, and this one is complete. St. Brown with the catch out to the 47 yard line. Now the shotgun. Kaepernick is all alone now. Throws complete over the middle to a wide open St. Brown and it's another first down inside Falcon territory. After a holding penalty, Kaepernick throws complete. Hunter Bryant takes it to the 43 yard line. So third and 10. Out of the shotgun again, Kaepernick throws short. Bryant with the catch, trying the same play and doesn't get the first down. Fourth and three, stopped by Richie Grant. That brings out Austin Seibert for a 52-yard field goal attempt, and it's off to the right, and no good. So the Falcons take over at the 42. And the give is to Patterson up the middle, and he gets to the 47. And that brings us to the two-minute warning here in the first half. Now Flacco from the shotgun position. Back to pass, throws long, 
completes it to Geronimo Allison at the 31 of the Lions. A 22-yard pickup and a first down. A back to pass, throwing underneath to Patterson, and he gets down to the 21, but doesn't get the first down. Second and in inches. Another pass, and this one is completed short to the right side, and a first down all the way down to the four-yard line. Now on second and goal, 47 seconds left. Flacco can't find an open receiver and is finally dumped. Jared Pinkney takes him down back at the 13-yard line, and Ezra Cleveland is down and injured. On the sideline and the trainers putting up through some exercises. Flacco back to pass. Dumps it off in the backfield to Patterson, and he takes it all the way down to the two. But that brings up fourth down, and Youngway Koo comes on for a 20-yard field goal. And that one is good, taking us to 10 to nothing here at the break. The Lions getting some yards, but no points on the scoreboard. Now with a halftime report, let's go to Eurocat Baby. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report. We'll get you back to the Falcons and Lions in a moment. During this 16th week of play, the only teams that seem to be running away with Super Bowl chances are the Cardinals and the Chargers, both with 13 and two records. The rest of the league seems to be in a log jam of a season. The Raiders are making a solid effort this season competing for a top spot in the AFC West with the Chargers. However, a lot of teams are hovering right around 500 ball, and that means that those with losing records still have a legitimate shot at making this year's playoffs. You may have noticed that the Buccaneers and Falcons are both representing our NFC South in the battle. But with Matt Ryan on the injured list, Atlanta is going to have to do something spectacular to actually make the postseason. Remember that Josh Rosen came up empty in trying to push the ball in the end zone last week. So in an effort to remedy that situation, Coach Gill has placed Joe Flacco in this game to see if he's the answer. With a 10-point lead and only 72 passing yards here in the first half, the Falcons' defense may have to step up once again. Cordero Patterson has put in a very good effort so far, but can he carry Atlanta to another win? Stay tuned to find out, because we'll be right back with the second half. Welcome back to Atlanta, everyone. Both the Lions and Falcons are struggling to push the ball down the field. The stakes have been the name of the game for the Lions, and the lack of a passing attack has been the sore spot for Atlanta. Has either team made the right adjustments in the locker room to dominate the rest of this game? Let's find out. The Falcons start out the second half at their own 25. Flacco hands it off to Patterson and he powers his way up to the 30 for a five yard gain. Out of the shotgun now. The pass complete to Patterson again and he's got the first down tackle just over the 36 now on a jet sweep Ridley takes it out past the 40 yard line and has a seven yard gain out to the 43 Patterson takes it up the left hand hash marks out past the 50 yard line and into Lion territory, but after a holding penalty, it's first and 19. The pass to Love is complete, and he goes out of bounds at the 46. Third and 12. The pass complete to Pitts, and he's down the sideline inside the 35 for a first down. And now from the 32, 
First and 10, play action pass, and he, Flacco can't find anybody and goes back. Harris gets him for a 13 yard sack. So second and 23, pass goes to Ellison. He has the first down and more down to the 15. A 30 yard pickup and a red zone visit for the Falcons. Now under center, Flacco hands off to Patterson and he gets down to the 11 yard line. A four yard pickup brings up third and six. And into the end zone, the back end and it's a touchdown to Quez Watkins. That I have to say was a pretty connection between the two of them, an outstanding throw by Flacco and Watkins with the toe taps in the back of the end zone. And it's now 17 to nothing, Falcons. From the 27, the handoff is given to Swift, makes a juke and out of bounds at the 35. Third and inches now. Kaepernick gives off to Swift and he has the first down out to the 39. The Falcons in a double high look. The give is to Swift. He goes up the middle to the 43. Second and five. The pass over the middle to a wide open. Cephas short and he's to the 41 and a first down for the Lions. Up the middle goes Swift inside the 40 yard line for a four yard pickup. Out of the shotgun, Kaepernick finally finds a man downfield. Cephas with another catch down at the 20 yard line. Taking the Lions into the red zone. Kaepernick throws short to Swift. He's inside the 20 yard line. Taken down just outside the 15. So third and six. And the pass is complete for a touchdown. Josh Reynolds, the recipient of that pass. Eric Harris trying to come up on coverage and prevent the touchdown, but he is just a split second shy of doing that. And it's now six to nothing because the Lions missed the extra point. Flacco pitches it back to Patterson, has good yardage out past the 30 yard line. That brings us to the end of the third quarter with your score 17 to six in favor of the Falcons. Out of the shotgun, another carry for Patterson and fights his way to the first down. Finally taken down at the 37. Under center, Flacco. Play action pass and this one is complete to Patterson again out to the 44. Third and three. The pass is complete to Pitts, short, and he gets the first down inside Lion territory. Flacco back throws, and it's complete to Gage. And did they give him the first down? No, it's second in inches. And the handoff goes to Patterson. He has the first down over the left side just inside the 34. Now the pitch back goes to Love. He has good yardage and out of bounds at the 26 on third and one. Caught in the backfield. Ridley does not make the first down and that will bring out Young Wei Koo and from 42 he kicks it through and it is good. 
The score is now 20 to six in favor of the Falcons. Now the Lions from the 25. Kaepernick can't find an open receiver, goes down. It's Bruce Irvin back at the 20 yard line. Second and 15. Kaepernick out of the shotgun, looking for a receiver, finds Swift short, and he's tackled at the 26. Third and eight. And this one is complete. Cephas catches it out at the 47 for a first down. Now, Kaepernick back to pass again. You can probably guess there's going to be a lot of passing, and he gets out of containment and into Falcon territory at the 46. So third and four. Dumps it off to Swift. Does he get the first down? No. A.J. Terrell got to him, and of course they have to go for it. Fourth and inches. The pass is complete. Cephas in a tug of war with Richie Grant, but that is a first down. The pass is intercepted. Richie Grant grabs it out of the air and is back to the 38 yard line. Grant playing in the middle of the field, an extra linebacker on the play. Kaepernick scrambling in the backfield and he threw it right to Richie Grant trying to get it to Cephas, but obviously that didn't happen. Now Patterson gets the handoff and takes it over the 40-yard line up the middle. A five-yard pickup. Out of the shotgun, the handoff going to Patterson again, and you're probably going to see a lot of runs here with just over two minutes left to go. A pass this time, and it's incomplete. Intended for Russell Gage, and I'm not sure why there was a pass on that play. But first and 10, the Lions inside the five yard line, and Kaepernick scrambles out of the end zone and gets the first down, out past the 15, and that brings us to the two minute warning with the Lions down by two full scores. Kaepernick throws it short. Hawkinson on the grab and he's tackled at the 24. Second and five. Kaepernick throws complete to Swift, not out of bounds. The Lions have to burn a timeout. A minute 33 left and a pass to the perimeter. And was that complete? Yes, for the first down. St. Brown out of bounds at the 32. Kaepernick goes down looking for somebody to pass it to. He just got blasted by Ogan Deji. Now there's a kid that the Falcons see a lot of potential in. Back to pass, Kaepernick throws, intercepted. A.J. Terrell latches onto that pass before it can get to Cephas, and that might bring this game to an end. You see Terrell jump for that ball, and there is no chance that Cephas is going to get his hands on it, and yes, the Falcons are in the victory formation with 52 seconds left. That is the end of the football game. 20 to six is your score here from Atlanta. If you take a look at the stats for the game, the Falcons had a pretty well-rounded offensive attack. The passing attack showed definite signs of weakness at times. Uh, but if you look at Flacco's stats for a guy that hasn't played all season until this game, they don't look that bad. 
He's regressed to quite a bit since the Super Bowl MVP days, but it looks like he still has some gas in the tank. Patterson ended with a 100-yard effort and a 6.6-yard carry average, so I can say that today the Falcons put together a pretty good run game plan. Not to take anything away from Patterson, but some of that success may have had something to do with Detroit keying in on a fresh quarterback in the passing attack and slacked just a little bit on run defense. The key is that we should all be glad to see another Falcon win on the season. A playoff berth would be a really nice thing to see in Turner Gill's first season as head coach. Then again, it would be nice to see a better draft selection. But at this point, I think the only thing that may get them a better selection is a trade of some kind. Oh, and the reason I said that the passing game showed signs of weakness is that this week again, Patterson was the most targeted receiver on the field. It would be really nice to see a quarterback that could push the ball down the field a little by connecting on some of these over 20-yard passes. Just saying. <laughs> on the defensive side of the ball, they didn't allow the Lions to get to the 300-yard mark. So I would say that was another great day for them, especially in view of forcing Kaepernick to throw two picks in the game. A.J. Terrell's coming with under a minute to go in the game gave us shades of last week's game in San Francisco, although I have to say it didn't have quite as much of a punch since Atlanta was up by more than one score in the game. Uh, next, the Falcons will be traveling to Buffalo to tangle with the Bills. Although Josh Allen isn't leading Buffalo to a winning season, uh, that doesn't make him any less dangerous. He's shown that he can make plays, and if he gets out of the pocket, uh, that could spell trouble for the Falcons. The Falcons may have acquired Tremaine Edmonds in that trade earlier this season, but Deion Jones may have a grouch on about the move to New York, and if he plays well enough, he can be a very disruptive force in the middle of that defense. That's going to wrap things up for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Defensively, Atlanta played a very complete game again this week. Two interceptions led the Lions to a lackluster performance, but made the Falcons' D look <laughs> pretty good. Question is, will the offense, with another week of practice for Flacco, have what it takes to rack up some scores against the Bills? Join us to find out when the Falcons try to herd the Bills in the right direction. And until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.